Now, as we enter Women's Month, the Artscape in Cape Town is once again hosting the Women Humanity Arts Festival. Now, it launches today and runs all the way up until the 12th of August. The aim of this festival is to bring people from all walks of life together to celebrate women as well as address the challenges that they face. We're joined this morning by the CEO of the Artscape, Marlene LaRue, along with the vivacious Manila Von mm. Tees and Vida and Fantabusha from the absolutely fab drag show who will be showcasing at the festival as well. I'm just going to call you guys my favorites because <laughs> I just love you. <laughs> I love you, especially you Marlene. Welcome to the show. Manila, Vida, have, good having you here as well. Okay, so this festival is in its 11th year. Congratulations. But just take us back. How was the idea for this festival conceived and how has it grown since it started? I think we conceived it because of our constitution yeah. and about human rights. And our constitution needs to be a living document where we need to look at values and dignity and not put the constitution when it suits us as individuals. So now the festival has grown tremendously because it's not just about women, it's about humanity. And just last night I got a call from Rivik Vest yeah. that a little girl has been killed once again. Yeah, you. And you ask yourself, where are we going as a nation? It's like we're at war with ourselves. And that is why it's so important that the festival, it is not just about a festival, it's a different kind and we use the arts as a vehicle for implementing social cohesion. Yeah. But also to look at, our nation is only 23 years old. Yeah. And we need to say to our young people, our young boys, our young girls, it's about your rights, but also about what, how do you perceive yourself yeah. as a human being? And when you look at the festival, how we've grown, we also now have, and later on I will speak about the highlights, but most important is the humanity side Absolutely. of where we are as a nation and what we need to focus and how we need to bring ourselves back yeah. to ourselves mm -hmm. and how we need to walk the path and be role modeling and this is what the festival is all about. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, one of the um, other you know, highlights of the festival is the absolutely fabulous drag show. Vida, I'm going to ask you about the production. Can you tell us more about people? What can people expect to see there? Well, it's called the absolutely fabulous drag show. And let me tell you something. It's, it's going to be fabulous. <laughs> It's just a big variety of the yeah. different styles of drag that's performed in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. So we've got our big dance numbers and Broadway theatrics and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Now, Melilla, why is it so important? I know it's going to be a fabulous drag show, but mm -hmm. why is it so important for the festival to have something like this? Well, I think it's the first time where drag actually has a show completely yes. mm -hmm. to itself. We've, we've always been a supporting act or a feature or a break filler. Um, but it's, it's amazing that we're actually seen as mm. artists and performers yeah. in its right. Yeah. And I think it's an amazing art form and it should go further. And there's a bigger picture, not just this show, but there's a bigger picture that there can be part of theatre and on big stages, so Absolutely. it's amazing. Oh, it is amazing. Well, um, Marlene, the show kicks off today, runs all the way up until the 12th. What are some of the highlights and where can we get tickets? You get tickets on www.artscape.co.za. That's our website and at CompuTicket. We also have At Your Feet with Nadia Davids and Juanita Nadia. Adams. Oh, and awesome. it's also about culture. Yeah. It's about identity, Muslim women. How do we see, perceive ourselves? Then we also have Ikaya, which means home mm -hmm. in Dorney dances. That's coming to to look at how does women perceive and also young boys perceive themselves about dignity and respect. But the highlight for us is definitely the 9th of August, where we're going to have a humanity walk. Wow. And we want to invite wow. families to come and walk and talk about how do we take our community back and how do we say that every child in our community is our child and not look away where do we see abusive relationships and then we have law workshops yeah. lawyers giving them their time free of charge on the 9th of august so that you can know wow. what is your rights yeah. how can you get advice because sometimes women and People are in abusive relationships because of economic circumstances and they don't know how to get out. So we're starting at 9 o'clock 
at the cathedral yeah. and we're working with the interfaith communities, the rabbis, the imams, the church leaders, because that is how we need to talk about. Yeah. The festival I would lastly want to say, it's also about a disability. Yeah. And we're going to have a fashion show okay. with models in wheelchair, deaf, wow. but also we have patients, Lunika, who's going with, who's a, um, this disabled young woman sure. that's a designer. Yeah. So we want to say with this festival, everybody has the right to yeah. be. Everybody has the right to be whoever they want to be. Wonderful. I love that. Everybody has the right to be whoever they want to be. Thank you so much, Marlene and Manila and Vida for being Thank here you. with us. <laughs> of course, all the festival details are on the screen and you can find out more from artscape.co.za.